<laughs> Just hold it like this? Is it recording now? Yeah. That's thinking, Jeremy. You Look don't have to fire. give it your seat. No, I want to get you. <laughs> no, my seat's by the fire. Jesus, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah. Do you it's want a beer? No, I'm okay, thanks. There's beer here. <laughs> There's beer here. <laughs> Jeremy Springsteed. Beer here, Jeremy. There's beer here. <laughs> it's the water. Okay. Let's see how, damn, this is really bright. So it is. Uh, it's four parts, and this is called a uh, Folk of Fire, People of the Pyre, and it's for a triple birthday bonfire celebration. In case you, in case you how am I supposed know. to record you? Look this way. Um, this is not just a celebration of Jeremy and. Aaron, but also Maria, belatedly, <laughs> whose birthday was, what day again? January 24th, 24th which is not that far behind us. Um, <laughs> not far okay. enough for my poetry. You will get a better <laughs> look at it, because I can't see anything okay. from here. It's already on recording. What is the earthen bounty? What quake to make your roar? Shuffle step, flutter, friendship beneath the silken moon, uproarious rapture of flame. There is a sticking and a stomping, there are the curbs and the hollowed logs. There is the nursing and the blossomed feelings of frailty before the windfall. All things known to come forth in breath. Conversion of breath and this earth is as solid and liquid as your moments of nodding and notices. Whether desert crag or shallow shirk. Beneath the bloom of silken booms. Before flame swoons, we are begged to ask for more and more. And more and more, the cavalcade begs more. Aaron Kokorowski. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Apropos, dog flash and mumbleberry and the bottom of the cleaned spittoon. Make the scene for the eyes that rise before the bay of a friend's loon call. He clears his throat <clears throat> for goodness <laughs> and for mirth. These decades a stumbling reverie. Cold caught in shoulder blades and green thumbs, he bids with stuck out on highways. This cold met with warmth, the smile, the blinding bulge, that's not a penis reference. And the gaunt, <laughs> daunting. This is him. This is the master of the blades of the fertile and the crisp. The lingerer of lisp. He who shouts even when married to a breath of stills and stealths. We watch the worms do their dance in awe. The little peons praising the god's song. He who clomps and clops the changeling with eyes boldened by a world coated. The dust as groaning as a pulse, and the flush of his face as wise as his posts. The molting, a molten language that collapses rooftops. The shingles splintered. Menace to the brick and the Tyvek does scream in fear at the rap of his breath. The color of the wind the moment we step back and let him step in, towards, inwards, up, scraping our landscape with his artistry, the shake of our heads so appropriate, the drunk in our swagger so dutiful and dangerous and ticklish before us. We are awarded and righteous with him, and we are thankful for him through and through the cuddling like a puppy, and our cheeks filled exploding with bloody berries. We touch down our toes and watch the world that's been spinning from him throw us back like quaking and filled with a fortitude at the understanding of forever. And the plain spokes of the machine and the warm cool down retrograde beaming 
We've got fever. We've got his hands on our skin, scraping the hair off our heads to be scrapped. And we're staging a staggering and the effigy is of us with him. A collective, a wonderful cosmos. The trek before and after, full-blown fourth dimension. That utterance more of a scream. And you bet it happened with him and his beckoning. Two, for Mr. Springsteen. Jeremy, not Jeremiah. <laughs> I hear the buzzsaw blow out blow oats out of the blowworm shimmy shimmy slime. Vision, it's the virgin of the versioning. The quaaludes of the questing or questioning or the man, the mink, the measles vanquished before the godsend feathering before us the tar and the chamber and the little lock you keep sweltering in your pocket as you stumble, your eyes bleary, not so blurry, but a single streak or blear that there is no more, there is no more city you half-wit before there is the fullness of the slickened trick before. And you, with your pockets, what do you get, huh? What clouds you beg for, what chirp? There is the humming, and the brigade, and the brigand, and the besting of the rest of us. And damn, if it was not so seen to be plucked like a fruit, or packaged isolated, the ashen dusty fruitcake curdling in its grimy fungi splattered covering the plastic, a window. You can't leave home with design to land in the trash bin, but not with him. No, not with the nick of the cheek the lick of the chin, the face, and the defacement, the single style that sings to us as we sit rolling wide awake, screaming coherently, but yeah, language is only for ourselves. And he, he has us, taught us well that we are unique, we the shadows, pretty and unique and ourselves existing in our own plane and no we are not plain and yes we are deplaning the astrolabe shuttle tube of the future that leads us to the factories and the warehouses and the bars and the cogs are gaslit and the fanciful mortuaries are as forever described by the cryptic swinging pendulum the more back and the more forth the more the merrier, and it's helpful to be healthy. And no, that wasn't an Edgar Allan Poe reference. Sanguine and lean before the fat deserves its subtle trimmings, and we bathe in pools. Berries as buried as Marion's, before the mountain peaks begin to glow white in snow. We'll show you, he has taught us well. He will show you before the breakdown of the low. Time to dance and lose a shirt. Walk all the way to West Seattle, or forget the permanence of anything so thinly drawn for the splatter chunk rates rise when the explosive chokehold does manifest and sworn. Happy birthday, Jeff. <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. All right. For <laughs> dear Maria Winters, third of the three birthdays of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Don't fall. This has to burn. All right. Does anybody have a beer I can take a sweet? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is a horse poem. I owe a toke of fresh air to the wanderer who travels lightly and speaks heartily. When I see the ancients living with the youth and the understanding of layers, remarking forever and being off to know that beauty does dance around a hearth, the home, not necessarily a structure or a center, but a coming to grips of a journey, travel being the place that we kept as a placeholder when we needed to forage forth, longing and distances and horizons being tools and gauges and the incessant and the earnest a single coal or ember scatter upon the deepening grooves and groves while light rain splits open images and sends deluges of fluctuation into New England 
the roots shining in the wet spirits visages and New York too and Bristol and Philly Chicago resting there like a huge tumor atop a much more prevalent a deserving Dino a Dino junction we could all rest well knowing we could all believe in if we shut the fuck up and listen to the silence a vague silence an unusual silence a precious distance from noise from the existence of being beyond the rolling flat nothingness of no-fly zones desert 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 lack of traffic and staggering image that would rip your eyes out if they could they could just beg the hay being bunched up as closely resembling a lingering sense of the wild as known the wild as a place transcendental and discoverable her hair brown and her eyes certain, shut mouth or poured wine or coffee, and the critique the painting does sit immediately, while forests grow around the centrum, and that is not home. This is everything, glowing, a unanimous animalistic sense of virtue and belonging. Brethren, we're all right, worldly, coat of stars and valley of mysterious blankets of soil that grow strange, symbols. The brunt force of existence rearing its head from start to finish, and we can but whisper. For no moan nor scream will shut or open doors before becoming fictioned and faint. The ridges, the ruffles along the boundaries of the echoes, acknowledged and nodded. The pools of graceful rainwater reflecting and absorbing like her eyes before morning. Happy birthday, Jeremy, Aaron, and Maria. Yeah.